My name is Mike Casey. I'm from East Bethel, Minnesota, and this is my 98 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Uh, well, I got into drag racing first, kind of street racing a little bit. When I uh, first started racing, I was just stock bottom end 360 with some nitrous. Now it has a built, uh, a built engine, a 408. It's still a Mopar block. It's just bored and stroked. It's got forged rods, forged pistons, forged crank. It's got uh, aluminum ported cylinder heads. It's got a nitrous outlet stinger plate on it. It's running about a 200 shot. I've been, the fastest I've been on the old setup with the stock bottom end was 1077. And this week I'm just running on motor and my fastest so far has been 12.1 at about 115. On motor it should make around 450, 500. And on nitrous it should make around 7, 800. I know the Grand Cherokee is kind of something different to drag race. When I first got it, I didn't really plan on drag racing it, but it ended up being pretty quick. So I just did some modifications to it. It's pretty much come to where it is now. From the factory, it came all-wheel drive. I convert it to rear-wheel drive. So it's got a front I-beam in it. It's got a different transmission in it. It's a 727 torque flight which is an older Chrysler transmission, pretty much the equivalent of a Turbo 400. It's kind of a struggle getting it fast, but it pays off when you see like Hellcat owners and Corvette owners just looking and they're like, what the hell? Well, the biggest hurdle was trying to get the engine to hold together when it was a stock bottom end with nitrous. Cause they say they can only handle 500 horsepower approximately. And on the old setup, it made 600 on nitrous. And uh, I've had three stock bottom ends in it. The first one lasted about three years. The second one lasted like half a year. The third one was like two months. And after that, I was just kind of done with it. So I fully built the engine and yes, yeah, it's, it's been holding up ever since. It's honestly not as bad as people would think. It drives pretty smooth. The only time where it gets a little out of hand is at the top end. The yeah, other than that, it hooks good. Being rear wheel drive, surprisingly, it hooks really good. I got decent tires on it, and yeah, it's not really, it's not as bad as people probably think. It's an old 98 Jeep. <laughs> There's not a lot of people that drag race them. More people off-road them, and when people see it, they're just like, what the hell? And they hear it, and they're like, I get asked what's done to it pretty much by everyone when I drive down the, drive to the track. Yeah, so I got into racing probably when I was 16, 17. I used to go to the street races and everything. My brother saw me going out there and he kind of got into it too. And we actually started building his Jeep first. And it was pretty much the same kind of setup as mine was at the beginning, the stock bottom end nitrous. But he's always been all wheel drive. And I want to do something a little bit different. So I did mine rear wheel drive. And so he's he's kind of always one up to me. So he had, the, he had a built engine first. He got a 387 stroker and you know, I got the big pipes coming out the sides and everything and runs a little bit of nitrous on that. And then I was still around the stock bottom end, trying to trying to keep up with him as I'm working on both of ours, you know, trying to trying to keep them as fast as they can be. And so yeah, so I eventually went with the 408 and now we're once I get it dialed in, we should be somewhat close. He's got a little bit better cylinder head than me and a little better flowing exhaust, but we should be pretty competitive once I get this thing dialed in.